Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. We were in the garden last week and Scootsy was in there with us. I think this was his first uh, big day in the garden. For those of you that are new here, Scoots is my latest kitten, one of two, both blind. Now here's Harry. Harry's also blind. And the cat behind him over on the right is Dipper. And Dipper's blind. Now I happened to be in the garden and the cats came with me. If you enjoy the videos today, please could you give me a like and a subscribe questions, comments. I read all of your comments, I'll see all your questions. I answer as many as possible. The tabby cat on the right hand side is William. He's also blind. I have seven blind cats in all, from all ages. Young kittens up to William, nearly six, my senior. There's Dipper, just going into the wood store. Do you know, I still haven't finished working in that wood store. People say to me, what do you do in Cyprus? <laughs> I can't answer people. But the time goes. I suppose it's because, you know, I live up on a mountain and it's a mile away just to get to the main road. The bank supermarkets are miles away. To get into town is about 12 miles away. It just all takes time. So Scoots is up the other end of the garden now. And he's not nervous, he's curious, he's having fun, confident. You know, the other cats all like him. Well, both him and Mabel. There's no problem with either one of them. I still think it's because they're blind and the other cats, my other cats, my regular seeing cats, they all know they're blind. Because if you think Tiny Tim came into the garden, a kitten, but he can see and yet he had problems with hair bear. Do you know my cats are, they've been around, my seeing cats have been around blind cats now for nearly six years and they are so tolerant of them you do get one or two like Woody that can cause a problem but because Woody has a problem with Kira when I'm out walking on the mountain with Harry and Woody's there, Woody doesn't let Harry go too far on his own. In fact, if, we're, if they're climbing, Woody will go in first to make sure everything is safe for Harry. That's Woody, <laughs> the Prince of Darkness. I mean, to start with, Woody was uh, a terrible bully with Harry when Harry first arrived. He didn't touch Kira, he didn't touch Momo. They were Come all three blind kittens, but he, f he, he went straight for Harry. Harry doesn't, it, he doesn't tolerate it now. Harry stands up for himself. So now Woody's moved on to another uh, blind kitten, or blind cat.
I don't know how it works with the cats. You know, I see them all the time. I watch them all the time. I film them. You see as much as I do. I can't figure them out at times. Do I really want to? Scoots. I just enjoy watching them. I think it's just for me to see blind cats <coughs> being outside, Oops. playing, running, climbing, coming out for walks with me. It's just to show the world what they are capable of, what they can actually do if they have the opportunity. Not all of them do. So the ones that come to me are probably extremely lucky. And I suppose my outlook, which is, I believe that they should be given a chance wherever possible to live lives as regular cats, because I know they can do it. The only thing they can't do, as I've said many times, is go out on their own or be out on the road. But for everything else, they are just like cats. I mean, Harry and Kira and Momo are brilliant tree climbers. And when they're up in the trees, they play up in the trees. Hope you've all enjoyed the video, everyone. And as usual, we will all see you all again a bit later.